Manny. Manny. Hmm. Manny. Abbott, did you? <laughs> what time is it? Can we close up yet? Hey, you're still open. It's Friday night. Friday night? Friday night? We should have been closed hours ago. <laughs> right, time to get out of these work clothes for a start. Look, Bernard. Look at my new phone. Look, 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 look. It's got web access. It's got a camera. Look, it can do everything. Dag, can it, it stop can boring conversations? <laughs> no, none of them can do that. Mine can. Shut up about your phone. <laughs> right. I think tonight's going to be something special. I think we should open the best bottle we've got. Not the £4.49. <laughs> tonight's the night. This is the stuff Napoleon would have drunk if he'd been a bit strapped and uh, he couldn't get anything else. Mmm. Mmm. Audacious. Mmm. Look at the robe on that. Mmm. Ah, strawberry notes. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting bitumen. I'm getting red wine up my nose. You notice anything different about me? You've turned into a heron. Ah, oh, wait a minute, I've got it. Your ears are bigger. My hair! I got it done. Isn't it perfect, aren't I divine? Don't you think I'm more me than I've ever been? I can't believe you didn't notice. Men have a different way of noticing hair and appearance, which is not noticing. Gianni, my stylist, is amazing. He only charged me 85 quid. Yeah, well, my stylist is free. He's called Manichio. Hmm. <laughs> I do it with a bread knife. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit top-heavy, actually. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why am I here wasting my hair on your eyes? I should be somewhere getting slavishly admired. Ah, but you will. My friend, because tonight we go out. Why? Because it's Friday. It's Friday night. Well, it was Friday night last week. It'll be Friday night next week and every week until we're dead. And even then, the whole <laughs> rotten business will go on and on and on. <laughs> yes, but it's Friday now and we're here, we're young, we're alive. He's right, you know. We should go out. What are the options, then? Um, cinema. No smoking. Bowling. Can't do the shoe thing. Um, <laughs> Theatre. <laughs> what about a restaurant? We could try Yo Liver. I know of a party, actually. Party? What party? Uh, friends of mine, John and Anne. They're teachers. Lovely people. What, what, what's the place like? Great big kitchen slash living room friendly place. Right, right. So it's a, a fridge-centred 25 to 40s party, a chili-shaped fairy lights, bottled beer in the bath, lots of yuppies, dinkies and yummies. Uh, lively fun, but it won't get out of hand. No? Yes, I'm listening, and my hair says, Go, baby! Yes. <laughs> it sounds awful. How far is it? It's two minutes. Ach, oh, that's too far. We're not going. We've got everything we need here. <laughs> oh, that means it's just us three again. We could sit in the garden. Garden? garden. Yeah, there's a, there's a garden at the back. It's always been there. I'm sure it's still there. <laughs> come on, come on. You don't want to sit in the garden. It's just us three. We'll just have a nice glass of wine, OK? There's more here somewhere. Oh, no. No, there isn't, Bernard. <laughs> what are we going to do? Friday night, no booze. Crisis. What can we do? I know. We'll go to the party. The party's away. That's what we do, Bernard. We'll go to the party. You know, I am picking up a certain keenness from you <laughs> about this party. There wouldn't be any other reason to go, would there? Absolutely not. 
Except there is a girl. A what? Girl. She's going to be there. I've, I've met her once before and I was hoping to meet her again. Well, let's go. We don't have to wait for Bernard. Oh, no, it has to be all three. Because if I go with you and get talking to her, then you'll be hovering, hovering, hovering. And the girl gets awkward, awkward, awkward. Because she thinks that you and I are a thing, thing, thing. But all three of us go. Then I catch her eye, peel off, natural, natural, natural. <laughs> we need Bernard to get to my person. You know I don't approve of you seeing other girls. People! <laughs> Who is she anyway, this so-called person? Rowena. She's a friend of Anne's. Oh, I see. Rowena! <laughs> And what am I supposed to do when you're doing the underpants Charleston with this insane blind tart? Why are you getting so angry? I can't help being angry when I'm furious. Look, it's no big deal. Yeah, well, before you move to the country to raise your bearded freak circus... <laughs> tell me about her. What's she like? What are her prospects? She's nice. Oh, she's nice. She don't make me get sick into my own scorn. <laughs> Does she play the viola? Does she embroider? Is she kind to the servants? I don't know. I just know that I like her. And there's a good chance she likes me. And that's all. Right. Well, I tell you what, we are going to this party because I'm trying to picture this girl who likes you. And all I can see is you in a dress. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, 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 wait. We can't go yet. Why? Why? I need my kit. Zoo, snuff, thimbles, amulet, swabs, plums. <laughs> it's things to accidentally leave behind near to Rowena, so she'll find them when I've gone, and then it gives me a perfect excuse to ring her up. Can't you just ring her and say I really enjoyed seeing you last night and I'd like to see you again? <laughs> don't be stupid. <laughs> I don't want her to think I'm gay. <laughs> Can we go now? Yep, we're all set. Let's party! Don't you dare use the word party as a verb in this shop! <laughs> Let's potter along in order to attend the party. Fran, get the wine. Sure. What? Lies! Subterfuge! Shit and corruption! Finger. Oh, yeah. My hair. Is my hair still good? Yeah, your vision. See? I told you about hair power. Three blokes put their phone numbers into my new phone. Look. <laughs> I'm dancing. Bernard, why aren't you dancing? There's no music. Well, sing us a song, then. You're Irish. <laughs> That's what the Irish do after a drink, isn't it? What would I sing? Mm. Oh, something about cliffs and a girl with golden black hair and, and the English all being bad. <laughs> sing it yourself. Fine. <clears throat> oh, hey, and Danny, dear, I miss the God. No good. No, we need proper music. I know. I know. We have a dancing competition. Look, I'll go first, and then and then it's you running, okay? <laughs> I'm going next. Do you finish? Because that's rubbish. You're not going to dance in bed. I'll show you the party. You embarrassed us. I'll have you any day. Bernard, you 
Chalk I fell into a bottle of bleach. <laughs> it's children's booze. What's yours? Blood. <laughs> it's quite good, actually. You don't even have to drink it. You just rub it on your hips and it eats right through to your liver. <laughs> Manny, what's yours? Delicio's beetroot liqueur. <laughs> Give us a bit there. Swap. Come on. It's mine. Oh, Manny, don't be a baby. It sounds nice. Pour some. I'll have one. I'll have it with ice and on fire. <laughs> no, it's mine. It's all mine. I'm going to get blind drunk. <sighs> Come on, don't be silly. You'll regret it tomorrow. No. What's the matter with you? Why are you always bringing the mood down? I didn't want to leave that party. I was enjoying it. It was great. No, it wasn't. The music was too loud. The food was cold. The drinks were few, and the people many. It was everything I expected, and less. <laughs> I'm never going outside again unless I need some place to throw up. <laughs> anyway, you got your chance, Weather. What did you talk about? Offshore wind farms. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. Never mind, I'm sure you left a Bunsen burner or something behind in the hall. <laughs> You can go around tomorrow and pick it up and propose. No! I couldn't find the right moment to plant anything. She, she kept following me around in the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom. Every time I put something down, oh, you dropped your kazoo. Oh, mind your swabs. Oh, you've got snuff on your plums. <laughs> a total waste of time. Yeah, well, you know, frankly, you're doomed. You and all the shy people are. <laughs> Natural selection favours the loud and the aggressive. I don't mean this in a bad way, but genetically you are a cul-de-sac. <laughs> OK. OK, I tried, all right? It didn't work. At least I tried to make a connection with another person. When have you ever done that? Eh? Exactly. You don't actually have a heart, Bernard. Just a shard of ice. Flint. <laughs> Sorry? Flint. I always saw it as a piece of flint. Uh, you don't see yourself as a human. You, you, you're some kind of superior species, aren't you? Homo Bernardus. <laughs> Scorning every fool who believes in happiness. Manny, sure, sure. This is the beetroot talking. You don't know what love is. You don't have, an, you don't have it in you to know. I had a girlfriend, actually. She died. Uh, and anyway... That's right, her name's Emma. And you're talking about somebody you barely know knocking you back. Big deal. You know, I was supposed to be living with her by now. And instead, every morning I wake up and look from my cornflakes to see your big, mad, snaggletoothed head. <laughs> so excuse me if I'm a bit out of sorts sometimes. Would you like some beetroot liqueur? <laughs> you, you can have it. You can, you can have the whole bottle. Really, I mean it. You can have nearly all of it. Come on, go ahead. Whoa, don't go mad. I don't feel like a drink anyway. I'm making tea. Who wants tea? That is the saddest story I've ever heard. Poor Bernard. The worst part of it is, she isn't actually dead. She lives the other side of Priory Road. <laughs> Bernard told me about her about three years ago. And then about a year after that, I started doing this exercise class run by a clown. Yeah? Circus eyes. That's what it was called. <laughs> and we had to wear these really, really big shoes. And so the step stuff was really, really hard. OK, it was a bit like this. It went, it went, uh, oh, two, three, four, uh, oh, two, three. <laughs> 
British war and throw the bucket of water. <laughs> Two, yeah. three, Fra four. Fran, Fran, oh. Fran, 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 try to stick to the story. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, right, OK. Anyway, after the class, we go for a pizza. And there's one time we were talking about boyfriends. And this girl, she says that she once got engaged to this awful Irish guy called... <laughs> Bernard. Oh. And the only way she could think of getting out of it was to get her friend to say that she was dead. <laughs> She, she wasn't dead. No, Manny. Which is why she was having a pepperoni with extra cheese. Years later. <laughs> why have you told Bernard? Oh, oh, I couldn't deal with all that. Can you imagine? All the fuss, all the shouting and the blaming. No, it'd be very, very messy. No, now, listen. Oi, now, look, you don't tell him. Hmm? Don't you oh. ever tell him. I want to. No. no. Manny, I mean it. I want to. I mean it. I want to. Not even in like ten or even twenty years. No, no way. Okay? No, shush, shush. totally uh, worse. No, no. What about a nice game of Monopoly then? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Here we go. So, uh, okay, Fran, you be the hat. I'll be the dog. And Bernard, you. She's alive, Bernard. She's alive. <laughs> Emma lives in London. Still. I'm sorry, Bernard. What? So what? You're saying she must have... Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, look. She's in my phone. <laughs> look, that's her full name, isn't it? I don't... I, st I still don't believe you. That's a photo of her and me at her last birthday. <laughs> One of the many she'll have still being alive. <laughs> That's her dental records. It can't be her! All right, OK, here's her birth certificate. And I keep it safely tucked inside the envelope with the photo of her reading yesterday's newspaper and wearing the I Love Life T-shirt. <laughs> so, so, uh... House rules as usual. Uh, fines go in the middle. If we throw three doubles... Uh, How long have you known this? A couple of years. Does it matter? Oh, <laughs> we, we all want Pal Mal, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Who else knows apart from Manny? Nobody. Hardly anybody. A few people. <laughs> Mr Singh are the news agents. Oh, and your parents, I told them. <laughs> oh, and, you know, obviously I tell people at parties if your name comes up. <laughs> well, maybe I know a few things about you. Maybe I've been holding on to a few little facts. Oh, I've, I've thrown a seven. See if you can beat that. <laughs> I don't think Manny knows what name you were born with, do you, Manny? Did you? Do have you met Enid? Uh, no. <laughs> don't, don't let's go down this road. You know the letter you wrote to your mother as part of the self-help program? You couldn't find it? That's because I found it and I posted it. <laughs> Manny, you did get into the Open University, but Bernard tore up the letter. I read your personal ad. I saw that. That was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> what was it? Intelligent, funny, uh, thirty-something female seeks solvent man for sex and possible friendship. Sense of humour irrelevant. <laughs> well, I've been reading your short stories. That's different. Yes. Ah, oh, but it's good. Listen. Have a listen to this. Give me that. Feared by men and admired by women, Brendan Blake turned from the window and patted Larry, his barely hominoid, milk-fed gimp. <laughs> By the way, you went to the party looking like that. <laughs> well, I think that covers everything. Hello? Rowena! Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. 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 I don't know if you remember me, but we were talking at the party. Yes, hi, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. And, um, you left something behind. Did I? Uh, you were drinking out of this. 
And I thought maybe you wanted to keep the cup. So I asked Anne where you lived and... But you're busy. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm stupid. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no thanks for bringing it round. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased that you, that you, you came round uh, with, with, with it. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> well, th thanks, thanks. <laughs> Just put that there, safe and sound. <laughs> so, <laughs> um. That's about it, really. <laughs> right, right. Well, well, thank, thanks for, thanks for uh, uh, bringing it round. <laughs> Offer her something, you fool! <laughs> oh, oh, um, s s seeing as you're here, w would you like some tea or, or coffee or uh, a bovril or a uh, herbal bovril? <laughs> Tea's nice. Tea, tea, coming up. <laughs> oh, I'll help you make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good for Manny. I'm sorry, Bernard. I should have told you about Emma, but she asked me not to, obviously. I was too good for her anyway. <laughs> Your arm's like a stevedore. <laughs> Stay and have a drink, will you? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got, I've got to go home. No, I'm not sleeping in this kip again. No, I'll, I'll just lie down just to rest my eyes. I've got a date tomorrow. I've got to look nice. <laughs> Hi, can I talk with uh, Emma? Oh, oh, hello, it's you. Hi. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's right. It's me. I'm very well. Th well, actually, no. I'm. I'm. I'm dead. <laughs> How are you? That's right. I'm actually physically dead. It's not funny now, is it? <laughs> what am I? I'm. I'm haunting you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you, well, what, you, well, then you. Don't hang up. You can't hang up on the undead. <laughs> Bernard, did you want something? Yes, I want not to hear any squawking or squeaking or squealing. And if I do, I'll throw you both into the street. Right. Nighty-night. Hey. <laughs>